There's the bell. Opening contest here. Debut show. West End Wrestling. Leonard of Chikarsen being joined here once in a lifetime. My dream come true. Getting to call professional wrestling with one Rob Naylor. Hey! And it's a match right up your alley. Four man scramble elimination style with some of the hottest rising up and coming uh, aerial wrestlers in all of the world. Up and comers. We're going to see some flips in this one, no doubt. As now we've got all the athletes in the ring kind of. Uh, Feeling, feeling each other out, easy for me to say, as we've got uh, Unbreakable Andy and uh, Young Arbo, who are two very very uh, popular wrestlers among the fans here in Stowe. Oh sure, Aaron Arbo from your hometown, the pride of Shimokin. Shimokin, Pennsylvania, it's an amazing place to live. And now these two are gonna start off, we've got a handshake, show of sportsmanship from these two young athletes. Oh, oh now come on. You know, uh, serious business, uh, Andy Harder here. Not very serious starting things off. It is Andy Header comes in. Andy Header. I Andy Harder. Harder, you know, and Harder Header. It's all good. Oh, there it is. Quick arm drag. This guy is full of confidence. However, maybe uh, it'll get the best of him. He's got to take uh, Andy Harder a little more seriously in a contest like this. As right there, you go. Irish trip reverse. Very nice on the arm drag there. Japanese arm drag, as some would call it. Ricky Morton would be proud. There's the first of the night. Oh, tilt. So we're like, oh, oh look at the evade out of that. Beautiful. Andy Harner. Andy squared in the ring right now. I was say, uh, look, if we say Andy, it's either guy or really. Absolutely. Oh, no. Evasion again with a backflip on that clothesline. Step up, Rana. Beautiful drop kick, Paul London style. There's two. I hope you have your scorecards at home. All the name dropping that'll be happening here. This would be a wonderful drinking game to play. Not that I advocate such. Andy Harder is pumped up right now. I don't say say nothing about no lucha rules or nothing. You have to actually have to tag your guys. Wow, I know, right? Change your pace for me. I have to write a note for myself. Yes, and this is not a house show. It's not a live event. It's a house show. I have to. The wrestlers, not superstars. Yeah, they're not superstars. They're wrestlers. As now, here we go. Andy Header back in. Says, "Come on, Arbo, I got this." I don't know, he's trying to lull him into a false sense of security if you ask me. Oh, look at that. Mind games tagging out right now to uh, Mr. Maxwell. Picture perfect Bruce Maxwell. Not the only Canadian wearing pink and black these days, but the only one here. The only one here is right. I'm surprised he got over the border. I hear that's been an issue lately. Uh, free Silesia. Uh, as now, King. No, missed. Arbo with the roll up. Count of two only. Beautiful. Leg Lariat, D. Malenko-esque. I swear to God, I'm going to stop in a minute. Nope, never. <laughs> now. These are how we connect to people watching at home. Absolutely. If you mention names from the past, they understand without us having to explain. Beautiful. Moons on at the second rope. Luckily, no one there. Luckily for Bruce Maxwell, that is. But no, you got to talk about the stars today, baby. I'm sorry. As now Irish went to the far rope. No, oh, there it is. What a beautiful drop down as it's supposed to be done. Tripping him up, and there's a Lariat Outback Jack style to the back of the neck. Count of two only for Bruce Maxwell, who's now uh, questioning his own efforts. Why did he kick out? Because he has to fight the, the heart of a lion. He wants to win this match. He needs to beat three other guys if he wants to make an impression here at West End Wrestling. Come on, why'd you kick out? There, there's only going to be one ever first match for West End Wrestling. That's right. And this is it. So the, the, the stakes! Not be higher because we got a running shooting star press off the apron. Oh, now you see Header here. He's got Arbo in his sights. He's measuring him. Arbo's got something in mind here. Sees Header. Sope called clothesline right there from Andy Header. Now Arbo, the only one left in the ring, potentially gonna do something big. Brett Lauderdale, not with the count on anybody. I guess we're going to do this one up. Infalls and submissions. Oh! These kids are pulling out all the stops. Beautiful <laughs> slingshot La Parca there. Wonderfully done. 
who are already in the double digits on name drops. That's quite all right by me. And there's a dive out of Tijuana. There is now Arbo and Andy Harner back in the ring. No! Oh, boy. Driven into that. Yeah, nothing pretty about that. That was gross. TNA kick, and now Irish swims to the far ropes. Reversal. Oh, well, we got all that one. Enzi, and now. Oh, no. He just squashed him there, center of the ring. There you go, hooking the leg, too. Right, I'll, I'll refer to that as a step stool leg drop. I liked it a lot. There's so much to steal that. At some point, it's now Andy Header. Looking to put him away as now Arbo brings himself back into this equation. You know, these guys are fighting so hard, I told them you were still at the office that they can get a job on it. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Regardless, Irish are up to the far corner. And not because of the talents of these men, it's because I am so far out of that equation. As now, whoa, Bo. He winds up with that big clothesline. He's going to run in for a clothesline. Oh, no! Good Andy, lord. Too many A names. Good lord. This who who picks all these names? <laughs> uh, they have the list of five. Two count only. Andy Hedder is a house of fire. He's just trying to pin anybody. Brett Lauderdale, be careful. He's going to try to pin you next. Good lord. Someone's got to. It's now Maxwell looking like he's making his way back into this equation, using the ropes to get to his feet. In a precarious position there on the apron. I tell you this, Rob, I'm not a professional wrestler. You're not a professional wrestler. Absolutely if not. If I'm in a match like this where it's elimination style, no count I'm going to stand the floor at least until one or two eliminations. Take a breather, you know? Maybe that's what Maxwell was thinking about doing. But he well, just got tossed off the apron there. Deposited to the outside. Now, wait a minute. Oh! And we were remiss in saying that this is indeed an elimination match. That's right. You have to go through three other men to be victorious. We've already got one person eliminated. Andy Hedder showing a good effort there. It was a house of fire toward the end. But right now we're down to three men. Andy Harder, Aaron Arbo, Bruce Maxwell. All three men have been taking a beating here. And these men are no strangers to each other. They have wrestled each other numerous times in the past. So they know each other's maneuvers and counter maneuvers. Arbo now a house of fire. We saw him there with those series of back elbows. Coming in on Maxwell. Monkey flip taking it back, baby. I love it. Andy Harner with that crazy monkey flip. And now he says, come on. Getting the adulation and support from this crowd here in Stowe. On the second row. No! Maxwell him. catches him. And just drilled him. Jaw jacked, if you will, but not enough to capitalize for the cover. Maxwell here finally slowly making his way. No! Two and a half. Andy Harner lives to fight in this match right here. Maxwell's got to be wondering what is it going to take to win this match. Turn him inside out, Blue Thunder Bomb, not enough to keep him down. Lord, they are pulling out all the stops here, Leonard to Carson. Looks like uh, Arbo. Arbo might have a cut on his leg there as I saw him getting up. Maybe one of those spills to the outside. Absolutely. You'll see it on the outside of his left leg there, folks. Very unforgiving hardwood floor here in the West End Fire Company, number one, which was instituted in 2000 or 1910. How do you know all this information? I am a fountain of it, my friend. It's now, oh my God, going for something big right here. No. Yeah, Maxwell, I think, felt it. He felt he was going to be taking a hard oh. shot. Instead, push oh the Oh my off. God, watch out for that fan. This is so scary. No. Double stop while the man is standing. Maxwell with the cover, hook of the leg. No! Wow! Doesn't get any closer than that, Rob. But you know, as the man once said, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I have his trivia game. It's a wonderful one. Would you stop? As now Bruce Maxwell just shellacks Arvo twice in the face. And Andy Harner is still worse for wear over there in the far corner. 
Yeah, sure. He, he got caught from off the top, got drilled with that stunner, and he has been really having a tough time getting back into this contest. I guess for the better, you know, if his attention is diverted, Maxwell now. Oh, no! Into the double team here by Art and Harder. Cover! Match is not over, ladies and gentlemen. Referee doing his best to clear the carnage out of the ring. And we are down to just two men, and we talked before how these four men knew each other very well. And now Arbo and Harner, two young men that came up together. Absolutely. They broke into the business together. They've been partners before, they've been rivals before, and there we see some sports. Oh, no! Right out the window! Wow! Look at that! What a betrayal! Kick out from Arbo, get his lights dimmed with that, I want to call it Inzy, but it was to the front of the face. Oh, Andy, what is he doing? Arbo, though, with good ring positioning, knowing where he was, not expending any extra energy, put his foot across the bottom rope. Big European uppercuts there. Irish whip. God dang, that's a lot of force. Kick to the face. Arbo still got some fight left in him. No, oh, there's a evasion. No, no. <laughs> oh my God. Look at him stack up there. All he's got to do is just put his weight across him. Damn, these guys are bringing it tonight. Fans getting behind both athletes. Listen, I'm on bias out here. I know you're pulling for your man. He's bringing that payday back home to Shamok. And Absolutely, putting it back into our wonderful uh, town, and industry, and business. R.I.P. Newberries is now. Here he is on the top rope. No! Get to the face! I was gonna say that wasn't behind the ear. That was in the back of the head. That was right in the jaw. What? He's gonna need to see a good orthodontist come Monday. This is absolutely awesome. What a display from both of these guys bringing it here at West End Wrestling. Fans getting behind the talents of both athletes. It's gut check time right now though, Lenny. Harner connects, gets no. caught here by Arbo, trying to stack him up, maybe, no, brings him around, lands on his feet out of the suplex attempt. Oh, today. Oh, no. The fancy oh, footwork of Andy Harner, unbelievable, but not going for the cover, Rob, maybe a mistake. Uh, if you're not in snow right now, you made a big mistake. This is incredible now. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. Great body control here out of Arbo. Rolls through, <laughs> package number to DDT! Oh, Holding onto the arms! Two! No! But listen, if you're not in stow right now, that means you're probably watching this at home from our good friends at Smartmark Video, so you did make a good call! Yes, it's a wonderful website, smartmarkvideo.com. The entire crew in the house tonight! I know, this is like a big old reunion. I gotta get a Mark photo with everybody of them. Absolutely. When Glenn comes out, you know you're having a good night. Absolutely. Right now, though, Arbo looking to make it a good night for himself. He's going no. to the top, looking to go home with that big payday. The victor in this fight. Oh, wait a minute! What is this? No! no. I guess we oh. call that the A-Driller. Dropped him right in his head, double hook in the leg. Ladies and